Have you ever found someone you just clicked with? Have you ever found someone you just didn't? In all of you right now is a unique personality which may or may not cause conflict or amity with people and personalities on a daily basis. This is especially true when you're in a relationship, when you have to live with each other and understand each other. In this kind of situation, small conflicts in personalities can snowball into that behemothic size that can cause tension in a relationship. So you can see why complementary personalities are so important. Personality. I've already used the word four times. What does it really mean? Well, according to the big five personality traits, personality is measured in openness to experience, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism, which conveniently spells out the acronym OCEAN, or CANOE, if you're into that. Openness to experience is linked to creativity and intellect. Being high in openness to experience means you can barely function without a creative outlet. Conscientiousness is a measure of obligation, attention to detail, hard work, persistence, cleanliness, efficiency, and adherence to rules, standards, and processes. Being high in a conscientiousness means you will always need to be doing something productive. Extroversion is the primary dimension in positive dim emotions, and it is a measure of general sensitivity to positive emotions, especially in social situations. Agreeableness is linked to being nice, compliant, nurturing, kind, naively trusting, and conciliatory. Someone very high in agreeableness will often dissemble what they feel, just to avoid conflict. Neuroticism is a measure of general sensitivity to negative emotions, like pain, sadness, irritable or defensive anger, fear, and anxiety. So there you have it, ocean. These five main traits combine to create your unique personality, predicting many aspects of your life. So it goes without saying, it should be understood and not overlooked. When someone high in conscientiousness is in a relationship with someone less conscientiousness, the less conscientious person could help him or her to have fun. However, conscientious people are very orderly, and so the messiness and laziness common in less conscientious people may just about drive them crazy. When someone agreeableness is agreeable is in a relationship with someone disagreeable, the agreeable person will seem like a giant pushover to the disagreeable person while the disagreeable person will seem harsh, blunt, and mean to the agreeable person. This form of conflict is quite common in couples and married couples, since women are more agreeable on average than men. When someone extroverted is in a relationship with someone introverted, they will enjoy social interaction in different amounts, and so there will be this eternal conflict over how much social interaction they should subject themselves to. Now, I want you to take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. Complementing personality is important, but you want to spend because you want to spend your life with someone you get along with. However, that is not to say that different personalities can't work. You can learn a lot from someone who views the world through a different lens from your own. I'm going to leave you with this quote from Orly Kites. It's taken years, but part of my own personal growth has involved deciding that I can learn something from even the most annoying person. Thank you.